Welcome folks. Uh, today's video will be about uh, hockey skates. Uh, basically what, how much you want to spend price-wise and uh, how to fit them. Uh, in future videos I'll go more into detail about blades and sharpening and, and things to watch out for. Okay, first of all, uh, thing that uh, before I forget, if you're buying a, a skate for a, a smaller child, uh, you know, toddlers and up, uh, a big mistake a lot of parents or whoever uh, that's fitting them will make is to buy them uh, skates that are two, three sizes too big. Well, it might be an economy thing for the the price standpoint, but as far as fitting a skate applies pretty much generally to uh, just about all all ages and sizes of foot. Um, basically when I fit a skate you probably find the same thing basically in any skate shop, the upper end skate shops where you, you buy professional hockey equipment and figure skating equipment. Uh, what I do when I fit a skate is basically loosen off the laces and uh, put my foot in there, slide my foot as far forward as I can. Mind you, you're not doing the skate up, you're leaving it loose laces, you could even leave the laces out if you want, but push your foot until it stops at the front and the most you should be able to get down, you reach down inside there and look inside where your heel is the clearance between the back of the skate inside it and the back of the heel of your foot. You should only get about a finger's uh, width clearance in there and that's the the general way where I fit a skate. Like I was mentioning about uh, the parents buying the, the younger child uh, skates, they buy them and they can swim in them. Well, there's no support at that point, um, even if the skate is a fairly decent skate with uh, good rigidity built into it. Uh, you you want to fit them properly for starters so you'll, you'll have uh, better skating ability, especially when it comes to stopping. With a hockey skate, for the most part, when you stop, you actually slide sideways, you angle the, the boot slightly, and it digs in, in one of the edges there. So if you're flopping around in there like a flounder, then uh, chances are your ankles are going to be wobbling all over the place and stopping is going to be almost impossible unless you're just going to do the snow plow one where you get two skates like when you're uh, snow skiing is, is you use the two like that. But you really want firm support and getting back to the, the firmness of the skate. Get one that's really well built, like this is a middle ground one, this is a CCM TAC, TAC skate there and uh, I've had these for a number of years, haven't really used them too much but these are a really good middle ground skate, something like that. The blade style here is one of the last that I found that uh, actually had some strength built in. It's a solid molded plastic. In the early days they used a tubular steel here. It was all metal down here and it was built like a tank. But the, the newer ones that have the plastic here, they went kind of hollow on them. And you really got to watch it, especially if you're playing an upper end uh, style of hockey. Uh, you take a slap shot with a puck there, you'll find your blade maybe even breaking the blade holder. So look in this area here for strength and uh, durability. But if you're just uh, recreational, doing public skating and, and whatnot, uh, just about anything in the blade department will do. Just just always go for a firm boot, something that will give your uh, your ankle and your, your feet uh, some support. Again, if you're playing hockey, look for something that's got some... Uh, uh, in some, some ways they call it ballistic nylon or whatever. These ones are pretty good. I've taken a few shots with... Uh, Mine are not real heavy duty slap shots with this, but there's a, fr a fair amount of protection in these ones. They're uh, some kind of a nylon fabric or whatever it's built with, uh, combined with leather. Uh, these are really comfortable. Um, price of these things, I think when I bought them was somewhere about $150 if I remember rightly. And that was a number of years ago. Um, to get a decent skate, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to spend at least $100 for a child size. Um, you can get them a lot cheaper than that, half the price quite easily. Um, so you, you look for quality, look for a brand name if you can afford it. Like I say, uh, price is uh, what's going to determine the quality of skate you're going to get, but basically um, spend a bit more, get something with some really good support and protection, especially if you're playing ice hockey. Um, you take a, a few shots with a puck and you're going to really appreciate the extra strength built into these. Also the support for your ankle. There's, uh, for the most part, uh, you need them once you get them fitted properly, uh, as far as length, and, and everybody's got a different uh, shape and size of foot, so you can actually have, have the guy in the skate shop uh, help you determine what's a really good fit, and if they're a, a better quality skate shop, higher end, they'll, they know all the different things that go on with people's feet. Uh, so you have to watch yourself uh, as far as fit goes, and, and, and when you're doing the thing up, like I always look for a skate that has a really thick tongue or padding, like you can see the padding on this tongue here. This is separate from the actual boot. 
and that's what the laces go on top and squish down on your foot to hold your foot in the skate. Get a nice thick one if you can find one, more comfort, uh, more support. And when you're doing your skate up, when you're fitting them, uh, a big mistake people make will will get a skate where they do the laces up and the, the two sides here, these leather or whatever the, the material's made of, they, they bring them in too far like this when they tighten them on the skate. Well, you don't really want that. You want to see a lot of lace area when, like this one is probably done up about where my foot would be in it. And um, you want to have a, a good amount of the tongue and, and the lace is showing. So I'm holding my, if you can see between my thumbnails there, that's where the edge of the skate comes up and then dips down into where the tongue is. So you want to see quite a bit of lace between the, the two sides of the, uh, the skate material here, not counting the tongue. So like I say, watch that. Don't have the thing coming up where they're almost touching and there's hardly any laces showing. Try to get something, if you're doing it with hockey especially, or something like you get a fit somewhere about inch and a half, as much as two inches, depending on the size of your foot. This is like a size 9 or 10 skate. It's a pretty big skate. Um, again, with uh, the children's skates and stuff, always make sure you get something with support. Um, there are the odd player in hockey, they can leave their skates loose almost like slippers because they got, I guess, they got uh, ankles built like tanks or something and they got the strength in them. But with me, I like my skates done up really tight, tight to the point that the laces are actually bugging me. Um, if I wear them for half an hour to an hour, uh, my feet will start to actually hurt because the laces are done up so tight, but I find that's the best for me because I can, I can make some really nice tight turns and really, really quick stops. Any looser than that, and I find my ankles kind of folding over. I'm not really weak in the ankle department per se, but that's just the way it's come over the years. I always like them done up tight. So um, watch out for, uh, for the, the blade, especially when you're playing hockey and stuff. You, you take a shot here with the newer ones, and like I say, I've had uh, people saying how, how their blade got bent from a hard shot. But for the average guy or kid starting out, you know, just $100 or so would probably do it for a pretty good pair of skates. But look for the uh, support for your foot. You know, you can, you can go cheap on them, but especially if you buy an old used pair and they're all worn out and, you know, they're just hit, you know, moving around like tissue paper, it's not going to do your foot any good. So look for something with some good rigidity and support and go thick on the tongue. Uh, good quality laces are good. These are pretty skookum looking ones. They uh, they really do their job well. Um, and if you find your, if you, I remember tying up uh, a lot of kids skates at the ice rink and right in here in the pinky from, from pulling on the laces. Uh, you get kind of hurt and raw in there after a while on both fingers here. And uh, there's, there's a little uh, a tool you can get it folds up and then it comes out in the shape of a T. Mine had a plastic handle with a metal wire came out with a hook and you could actually hook in the laces and pull them that way and that would save your fingers if you're doing a lot of people skates up for them. Um, so basically that's it. You watch out for the um, the quality of skate. Get which, uh, how much ever you can spend on it. Uh, go with that little bit extra if you can afford it and get something that's decent. And with, like, and with the children's skates, don't uh, Try to avoid buying them four sizes too big because uh, there's no support for the, the child's ankle at all. Uh, you want to try to keep it in that range so there's just a bit of clearance when the skate is loose. I'll go over it again. Your skate is loose. You got your foot in there. Push it as far forward as you can and then there's only be about a finger's uh, clearance inside the boot between the back of your heel and inside the heel of the skate. So get a good fit. That's the most important as well as uh, something that's got some real good support for your uh, your foot and your ankle. Another area here is for hockey players make sure it's uh, it's fairly well padded in this part where your uh, ankle bone is. Uh, you start taking a shot there. Your shin pads are generally covering from here up and there's really not much. Your skate's doing everything for your foot pretty much. So uh, like I say don't skimp on quality if you can uh, afford it. Uh, even a good use skate is, is good too. Just make sure that it's uh, that it's in fairly good condition. Um, another thing I'll show you too, buying newer used skates. I've come across when I buy a new skate, so I take a straight edge with me. A lot of times, these, uh, especially the plastic ones, I've seen even figure skate blades uh, brand new out of the box, not even on the skate yet, and they're bent right from the factory. So you can put a straight edge on it on both sides when you buy them. Um, in the future videos I'll show you how to sharpen it. That's one way I found out how 
how to um, look for the bent blades because the little fixture holding thing I had there to, to hold the blade while I sharpened it uh, told me uh, that I had a, a bent blade. This one isn't perfect but uh, it's uh, acceptable. And there's, uh, with the figure skates especially, the more professional shops, they can actually straighten those blades with some kind of a press that they have. So um, look for that straight blade. If you can, take a steel straight edge with you and, and check the blade, especially if you're in a larger size. You know, the larger size, the longer the blade, the more curve you're going to have in it. So, um, basically that's what I've got for the, the fitting and price points of uh, uh, hockey skates. Um, hope you can use some of that information, and in future videos I'll be going into more detail about the blades and how to sharpen them and what to look for. And... Uh, Perhaps the next video I'll be going and doing is, will be about figure skates and much the same as I've described in this video here today. So enjoy, take care, and have yourself a nice day. Bye for now.